As an artist, what brings you joy? I really like connecting with people and seeing them connect with my work as someone who is an artist and who is also super passionate about the park system and conservation and leave no trace principles. I love that my art is like a gateway to have those conversations with people um, because when you show a work, especially like if I was at a residency, it's just a great way to talk about environmental issues and uh, sustainability and the park system and conservation. And I really love when I can connect with people and talk about topics that maybe sometimes are a little boring or not what people really want to talk about, but doing it in a fun way that is entertaining or we can kind of talk about things I've experienced in my residency. I, I really enjoy that. So I love being able to connect with people through my work and through the outdoors. So Jamie, how do you think this uninterrupted time at Shenandoah will influence you as an artist? Oh my gosh, it's such a gift. It's such a gift, especially as an artist and as a parent and as a business owner to just kind of put a pause on everything. And I always feel like I'm still in the process of it, but every time I've got an opportunity to do something like this, I really learn a lot about myself and who I am as a person. And you learn a lot of uh, self resiliency too. Um, so I definitely feel like it's going to have a profound impact on my creative practice. And more than anything, it's just a rest and a reprieve before the holiday season, which is typically a really busy time of year for me. <laughs> um, could you please explain a little bit about your process for working on and completing a piece of work? Yeah. So typically what I do is when I'm doing, especially with a residency or if I'm out doing my own hiking or backpacking or adventuring, I keep a watercolor sketchbook and I do a lot of field studies. Um, and that's kind of a way to capture, I don't know, the feeling of a moment in a place, um, which is a lot easier than carrying in my big easel. And so I do those and then I use those to sort of inform my studio work when I get back to the studio. Um, I use the color studies that I did and the pictures that I took and I work from those together to create my painting. So it's very much kind of how my creative process runs, kind of a, full, a field sketch, watercolor sketch, translating into a painting from a reference image possibly. Sorry. No, I think rambling is, <laughs> yeah. is rambling's great. fine. Okay, we yeah. need okay. I ramble. Oh, well, then you're in good luck. <laughs> what is your background? Um, so I actually have a communications degree and I did nonprofit work for about a decade. I'm a first generation uh, high school graduate, first generation college graduate for my family. And so it didn't really, I didn't know anybody who was a professional artist that seemed really, really unattainable as a child. And so I went into the nonprofit world, but I was always drawing and painting and sketching and Eventually, uh, I decided that I wanted to try to make that leap. And so I've been professional, I think, for about eight years now. So, yeah. So, Jamie, what inspires you as an artist? Nature. Definitely nature. I, as a child, I kind of had like a tumultuous childhood a little bit, but we lived way out in the woods. And so, like, it was my solace was to escape. And so I think that really carried over into adulthood. Like, it's very much where I find my peace. And so I want to create art that gets people outside or at least thinking about nature or exploring. What about nature or nature in Shenandoah are you most drawn to or influenced by? I think it's funny because nature changes. So like I think at different times of the year there's different things and I would imagine in a park like this with the deciduous trees that the views are probably spectacular in the winter. Um, but right now I really think it's the trees and I love summer's last gasp. You know like it's everything's kind of green and verdant but you can feel like it's just barely holding on and starting to <laughs> fade away. So I think for this time in this moment in Shenandoah I think it's definitely been the trees and the greenery and how lush and deep everything is and the knowledge that like in three or four weeks it's going to look drastically different and then in another month or two when the trees completely lose their leaves it'll be a totally different landscape and there's something really beautiful about how finite and short our seasons are and kind of getting to enjoy the end of summer. So is this your first time in Shenandoah? Yeah, it's my first time here. It's been amazing. Yeah. Is there a constant theme throughout your art? And if so, what is it? I think it, it's definitely nature and exploration and being outside. You know, we have, we're super fortunate to live on a gorgeous planet. And as people, I want to personally, and then also broadly encourage people to get out and explore that and to immerse themselves in the wilderness. And so I hope that that's a continual theme through my work is just getting outside, exploring, being brave, trying new things, going new places. What adjectives would you use to describe your work? Um, I hope that it's uh, emotional and optimistic and moody sometimes. <laughs> I really will try to capture what it feels like to be outside. And I feel like any time that you have done, especially if you're doing like a long hike or a backpacking trip, you experience 
a wide array of emotions. And so I hope that I can convey that in my art, you know, the positive, the negative, the hard, the difficult, the easy, the sunny, the moody, just kind of what it feels like to be outside. I mean, Shenandoah is amazingly wonderful, wild, beautiful place. I have thoroughly enjoyed having the space to explore and the expanse to explore. It's a wonderful residency program. The housing has been great. Everybody's been super kind and nice and the rangers have been super helpful. Um, also too, you guys have such an amazing history in the park. It's so fascinating um, talking to the rangers and learning more about the history and the people who were here before. And also like, I love Rapid in Camp and President Hoover. I didn't know any of that. I've learned so much information. I'm so grateful to the Shenandoah National Park Trust for making this available. It is such a unique experience to get to have. And it's such a gift as an artist to have time set aside just to create not to be running my business and all the other myriad of things that go on in an artist's life. I think there's a big misconception, especially as a professional artist, that you spend your days painting when in reality you do paint, but you spend your days doing a whole lot of other things. There's a lot of moving pieces to being an artist from preserving your work, prepping your work, photographing your work, showing your work, selling your work, packing your work, shipping your work marketing your work and so it's it's such a unique experience and it's such a huge part for me personally of my creative practice when I get these opportunities where my only objective is to explore and to make art um, so I'm super super grateful for the trust for making that available to me and other artists in the future and previous artists in the past <laughs> that was excellent thank you